Well, hello, the body of Christ today. Um, Jesus used that word today, so I thought I would use it too. Wow. So, <clears throat> guys, Jesus has been giving me messages since December 30th. But he's never given me a message like this. This is literally one, two, and this is typed up now because I copied it from my phone. It was like he was writing a book. He just would not stop. So, I have so much here that I'm about to read, and it'll probably be like three parts. I'm not kidding. Like, this is the longest message so far. So, I don't know what that means. You know, I don't know if, if the, the numbers that McKenna did was just to encourage us that he's coming soon. I don't know. So, but this message was different, and, and um, I don't know. Seek Jesus. Believe in him with all your heart. Um, I claim that he's God. He's the son of God. He came to earth um, in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for us and rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. Um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay. Well, technically it's June 4th right now. But I got the message on June 3rd, 2023. <laughs> First he gave me James 3, 8, but no man can tame the tongue. It is unruly, evil, full of deadly poison. Philippians 2, 7. But made himself of no re reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. 2 Thessalonians 1, 4. So that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure. Micah 2, 3. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, against this family, I am devising disaster from which you cannot remove your necks, nor shall you walk haughtily, for this is an evil time. Okay. Matthew 1, 11. Josiah begot Jeconiah and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Mark 1, 9. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Job 4, 5. But now it comes upon you, and you are weary. It touches you, and you are troubled. Here's the message. My child, I am coming. Explosions are coming to Iraq. The financial system is going to collapse. It's soon. Barack Obama is about to step up and be in charge. You are going to see the turn of events change very fast. In the blink of an eye, a sense of peace and a calm feeling, and at the sound of a trumpet, destruction and chaos will commence. Did you see the beautiful sun today? Big and beautiful with a red-orange tint. Keep looking at the moon. You will see a haze with a halo around it. It will look cloudy and mysterious, but beautiful at the same time. Your eyes will be drawn to it, and you will not want to stop looking at it. I want you to keep looking up. I'm using this time to encourage the body of Christ. See, I told you he used that word. Not everything meets the eye. Remember, everything I speak means something. I am leaving you a trail of breadcrumbs so you can find my true calendar date. You are inquisitive, and I like that you are searching for me. There's more events coming. You will see everything so clearly so soon. I told you to look up what cometh means. It means something. Do not lose faith. Do not lose heart. I'm coming sooner than you think. I love you. I am your Abba and I have spoken. Trains, more trains, more black smoke. It's coming. Toronto, Wyoming, New Mexico, South Carolina are just some of the places that are going to see a black haze of smoke covering the horizon. 
Repent and believe in me, children. I'm trying to save you. I love you. I'm your Abba, your father and friend, and I'm delivering you soon. Keep watching. <clears throat> Second Thessalonians 1 7. And to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. John 3 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. There's a fly or something in here. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. 1 John 3.12 not as Cain, who was of the wicked one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his works were evil and his brother's righteous. I need my fly swatter. <laughs> 1 Peter 2.11 Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul. Job 3.7 Oh, may that night be barren. May no joyful shout come into it. Revelation fourteen three through 6. They sang as it were a new song before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders, and no one could learn the song except the 144,000 who were redeemed from the earth. These are the ones who were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They, these were redeemed from among men, being first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no deceit, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. And here's another message. What do my numbers mean? What does 144 mean? There is a double meaning to my words. Is it the wilderness? Is it a location? Is it beginning to the end? Is it the bride, my chosen ones? I'm very descriptive with my words. I have designed everything. It's obvious to see if you know what you are looking for. Do you understand what the number means? Have you read it all ways? Triumph, victory, harpazo, the bride gets caught up. Who is my bride? What key do they have? I've told you the key and what it means. It's an open door and in the spirit, listening to me and letting me guide you to truth. Asking me for discernment. Do you have faith in me? Do you trust only me to save you? Do you know me? Do I know you? Are you praying to me? Are you worshiping, waiting for my glory to shine down? I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Children, you make it way more complicated than it needs to be. Why are you being a worker bee? Have you tested the spirits? Can you recognize the Holy Spirit? Are you walking in light? Or are you still in darkness? I tell you the truth. If you are walking in spiritual darkness, you are not practicing the truth. Who I am or who am I? I am the great I am. I am your Messiah. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Why are you running from the truth? Why are you rejecting me and denying my love? You are broken and you blame me for your tribulations not trusting or knowing my true plan for your life that I have already set in motion. Not everything meets the eye. To understand, you have to truly seek me and ask me for discernment, or you will miss everything. I told you it's in front of your face, but your heart is misguided, and you walk in deception, attacking my anointed ones. Did I command you to speak? Do I need defending? I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Children, wake up, O oh sleeper. This is the end, but it's all beginning. And the next event is fire in the cities. I am sounding the alarm. Believe in me, confess, I am Lord, and I will save you. I love you. I am your Adonai, your Jehovah, and I have spoken. Okay, part two next.